Okay, so fly tying, we use a lot of glues, head cements. We got everything from old school uh, lacquer based head cement, which is useful because it penetrates the thread real nicely. Um, the old standby Sally Hansen's uh, Tough as Nails, uh, Diamond Strength. I think it's the same thing. UV, um, you know, all kinds of different UV stuff out there. The old standby super glue. I don't like this type of applicator, the little squeeze bottle. I find that they get, uh, they don't work very well after a little while. They get fouled up. So we're switching over to something else. Um, I've been using this same bottle right here for a long time. I've used Zapagap in the past. I like the brush applicator. It worked well, but I found that the threads and everything kind of got fouled up and I was not able to clear them and keep that working and it kind of dried up and didn't last as long as I would have liked it to. I know a lot of people swear by it. Um, I ran into a little bit of trouble. I've been using the Gorilla Glue uh, Super Glue for months now. This bottle has lasted literally months. There's about a quarter of a bottle left in here. So I've really got some good use out of it. It doesn't have a brush applicator. That's the problem. So I end up squeezing a dot of it onto a piece of foam or paper or something and then dabbing it onto the heads or the places that I need it with uh, my bobkin. I was walking through the hardware store the other day and this caught my eye. Uh, so it's a Gorilla Glue super glue with both a brush applicator and a nozzle. So I thought, let's give it a shot, check it out, see how it works. So we're gonna do that right now. I'm gonna tie up some battleship hoppers. It's a foam fly, mostly foam anyway, and uh, there's a lot of glue involved in it, so I figured it'd be a pretty good test. Let's check it out.
Okay, so I've been pretty happy with this stuff. Uh, worked really well. The fly, you know, I've only tied one fly with it so far, but <clears throat> it worked really great. I would normally be using a UV on this particular fly for some of these places, um, like the legs where a thick application is needed and it just takes forever to dry and I literally spent 10 minutes blowing on it. But for super glue, in the places where you would use it like a head cement or on gluing up the foam body, it did work phenomenally well. I want to show you guys just this app, these two different types of applicator it has here. We have the brush. I'm thinking I might trim the brush to a little bit of a fine point. Not sure about that yet, but I'm I'm gonna give it a shot down the road. And then we also have this tip. And it's designed in such a way that any overflow that comes out the tip that you don't use will just run back into the bottle. So it's really a great great design. Um, I like it. I'm going to keep using it. I'll let you guys know how it goes.